Hello, welcome to one of my reviews. I haven't done one in a while, sorry, and uh, haven't been making videos. Um, I got this like about two weeks ago, and I forgot to make a review about it because I was dying to get it, and now I do. And then I forgot about it, so let's just um, review it right now. It was, uh, I got it at Toys R Us, it was about twenty five dollars I believe um, they, it was a buy one get one free thing and I got a small Legend of Chima thing for free it came with a one of the crocodiles and a vehicle but um let's get back to this um, it's a epic set it comes with two like if you watch Star Wars The Clone Wars you know what the Mangalorians are who they are and so, and you'll be able to recognize the outfit they're in. And there, there's two of them. Comes with two, in the red Darth Maul uniform, because he took over. And the uh, one has the normal Mandalorian face. Well. If you have one, then you'll know what it is. Um, but the other, I'm not sure if it's like a big misprint or something, but it has a different face. He has, uh, yeah. So you can see he kind of looks sad. Um, I guess he said now he's working for Darth Maul. I don't know. And they do have the um, jetpacks that you can take off, and then you've got red back printing on their back armor that you know connects to the uh, jetpack. It's a dark. It's like kind of dark gray color for the jetpack. I thought it was a great thing that they made the Star Wars Clone Wars um, uh, Darth Maul uniform because uh, well uh, they they don't really make that many Mangalorian sets so I really like that now uh, let's see, let's see. Darth Maul and. They gave him the uh, legs from Star Wars The Clone Wars. Uh, I can't really remember, but um, at one point they changed his legs. But this is what he looked like, I believe, during that part. I'm not sure. He might have had the different legs, but um, these are, like, yeah, you can take them off. And he'll just be legless. No, not this again. Okay, and his legs look like just like how they did in the Clone Wars, really, and uh, because like they got every single detail correct, basically. Mm. Put this back on, and he's got all the back printing and. The arm printing, the uh, arm printing is starting to become a, it looks like it's going to become a normal thing for Lego to do, it's going to get less rare and rare. And, it's a different Darth Maul face, it's Star Wars Clone Wars. Well, you can't really see it that well, but, um, one of the things I wasn't really crazy about was, the horns on his head, like they, the, there's red and black, and the black parts don't really match up that well with the black parts on his face. So I don't think Lego really needed to add that. They should just put the top all red. But, um, I am glad they tried to get it to work. I mean, it's not, it doesn't have to be perfect. I still like it. Well, let's, um, get to the spaceship, the speeder vehicle, 
that's in this set. And it was, um, it didn't really take that long to make. It was good, it's a good set. Uh, the front, you can adjust the angle that it's at. The same with the windows. There's a lot of features that you can adjust on the ship. It's like a giant adjusting speeder. You can move them like this, and there's tail lights, I guess. And you can move this back, and I just. Well, basically. Let me just. Yeah. Everything's breaking now. But, uh, it hides, uh, Darth Maul's lightsaber. And if you watch the Clone Wars, you know that the Mangalorian leader has the black lightsaber. It's supposed to be, like, one of the oldest lightsabers in existence. But then Darth Maul kills him and takes the lightsaber and takes control of the Mangalorians. And that's why they're wearing Darth Maul uniforms. Because the... They ended up working for him, and then stuff happened, and we're waiting for the next and last season of the Clone Wars to begin, and then we're going to be waiting for the, um, the next series called the uh, called Rebels. Let's get back to this. Um, a nice feature. I mean, they even it was. I was surprised they put detailing on here, but because it, it was a brick, you didn't really need that detail there but the seat for Darth Maul uh, I was kind of confused like would he just slide in and out but really they made it so his feet can just hook on to yeah, I can't really do this well with the camera in my hand because okay there we go so he basically he's not gonna fall out he's sitting there and the Mangalorians, they sit on the normal way. Yeah, I'm riding with Darth Maul. So uh, at Toys R Us, it was about $25. At Walmart, it's $20. $20. Um, really, at, at Toys R Us, I basically bought this and the, the Lego... Chima set because the Chima set was five dollars and at Walmart it's this is twenty dollars so I would suggest getting it at Walmart unless you want to get a Chima set and you know if they're um, doing that again but whenever they do that they end up, they change it they switch up what free set and you're lucky whenever you come across one of those so Hope you enjoyed this review, and there will be more.